Hello and welcome to another video and as you can see we've been working hard in this uh, pool pump room to get all the armors and stuff in and put a new consumer unit up plus some light in there's all sorts of stuff we've been doing in here so if you'd like to see what we've done and how we've done it stay tuned and uh, see how it was all done Okay, so this is the uh, essentially the pump room is what it's going to be. As you can see, they've already bought some pipe work up for all of the pumps and stuff. I think there's going to be a heater outside. There's my sheet of Paxilin. That's basically just there so that I can mount all of my equipment onto it easily. Because as you can see, if I bring you up close, we've got literally hardly any depth. And obviously that's the outside skin of the shed so I didn't want to try to mount stuff on there I thought the easiest way is to put something in here that I can mount all of my stuff on we've got a consumer unit going on there um, loads of armoureds coming in for all different things because this shed not only does the pool it does another little outbuilding which is like a little um, pagoda -y type building <clears throat> just with a light in it in reality um, it also does a hot tub supply um, what else? Oh, and some outside lights. One of the outside light jobs is obviously coming from here and it goes to his bar area in the garden. So it does quite a lot of stuff. And obviously, also, we're going to be adding a light of some sort in here, um, switched probably over by the door here somewhere. <clears throat> and we're going to put some sort of socket, I would have thought. So he's got power that he can use if he wants to use it, or whoever's in here can use it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for in here, but I'll say that's pretty much it. That's a lot of work to try and get done. It was, it's enough work to try and do in two days as it is, but then adding the outside lights as well, that's going to be a bit of a push. So we'll see whether we can get it all done. But if you stay with me, we'll go and have a look at where the outside lights are going to go next. Okay, so the outside lights are going to be just inside this garden area. So open this up. And as you can see, there's his hot tub, there's the pool, there's his little bar. So we're going to add some lights on each one of these posts here, here and here. And then probably as he wants it switched. So I might put the switch potentially here, just so that when they're at the bar, it's easy to reach. Or I might put the switch over there. I'm not too sure yet. There's me feed coming in and that comes from... The, that is the pool pump room so it comes along under the floor and it comes out here that's going to be my feed so I can do with it what I want I'll just have a think as I'm going along in the day and then uh, hopefully we'll get it all done and I did worry when I first come in that all this rubble was here but I think I'm gonna bring my cable up onto this so that it's out of the way and then it's off the floor for one thing and it helps me out because I haven't got to move a ton of rubble. Okay, so stay with me guys and I'll show you uh, my process of work as I go along. So this is where we're at so far. I've managed to cut the Paxilene, as you can see, so it's roughly about halfway across this little cross piece. So then what I'm gonna do is measure another piece of Paxilene to go from here to the end wall that's here and then hopefully it'll marry up. I can drill my holes for the armour to come through, mount the tray, and then we'll be looking good, hopefully. So let's get on with that bit, shall we? piece of Paxilene that I've just cut. So what we're going to do, not I won't put it this high, but it's just to show you guys it's going to sit like this. And then it gives you a nice carry on of the Paxilene that you can put the um, cable tray onto. So the next thing is to fit all these in position um, so that then we can start mounting stuff. So I need to mark out where I need to put all my holes to put my screws in. So that'll be my next job. So follow me and let's see where we go. Welcome back. So now, as you can see, the Paxilene is cut. I've drilled all my little holes ready to fix it. This one is all cut and ready to go. What I've done is I've put the Paxilene just on some boxes. Um, 
like from these screw boxes, just literally to get it off the floor, just didn't want it to sit on the floor. Um, so they're about 100 mil off the floor, I suppose, kind of is the normal height for in here. Um, so my next job will be to fix them all to the wall with a trusty impact driver, and I've got some inch pan head screws, um, which I quite like because they give you a nice finish once they're in. So follow me now, and you can see what it looks like when it's all done. Here you go, and as you can see, it's all mounted. So we've now got the nice little run through there. So I can then come up around here somewhere into the board. And I might even put the board there yet. I'm not really too sure where I'm gonna put it. So my next job will be to put the cable tray along there and mount the board. So then we can get some armors in and it will start looking like a bit of a better job. Look like we're getting somewhere today. So this is where we're at. Um, I have now sorted out the tray so it's all ready to rock and roll. I've set my laser up so I can see it going up straight. Um, I'm not going to be putting any kind of things on the wall. I'm just going to literally space the um, I'm going to space the tray off with just a couple of washers. Because all I need to do is have enough room behind it to be able to put cable ties in. That's all I'm worried about. I was going to put, originally, I was going to put uni strut up the wall. But, if I show you under here, all of my, they're so close to the wall. I didn't want to have a 20 mil uni strut and then have this. So I'm 20 mil, at least 20 mil off of the wall. I'd rather be as close as I possibly can to the walls so and my armour are not having to bend in and move out to either position. I don't mind them sweeping out, but if they've got to bend in and sweep out, it just makes life really awkward. Um, so I think this is the easier way of doing it. Um, so yeah, that'll be my next job. So I suppose I better crack on. Let's get this thing done. Here we are back in the corner. I've got my trusty drill with a, I think this is a 70mm hole cutter. Yeah. So I'm gonna now drill my 70mm hole here so that when all my armors come in, I can just spread them out onto my tray how I want to do it. So let's get this hole drilled, shall we? <laughs> chances should have tightened that up a bit better than I really right now let's go and uh, have a look at the armoured shall we see how they're looking right as you can see here's the armoured and one thing I've just noticed so all of these armoureds come this way you can't really see down there can you and then come up and I'm gonna go up through my hole there ish so <clears throat> if I go up the top here there's two armors that have been left there but if you look down here let's see if we can get down there put that in front of that there's a post for the fence that comes right up against the shed so really it would have been ideal if those armors would have been put even through like one of the these gaps here that would have been put through there or the bottom down and the bottom there so now I've got to try and figure out a way of being able to do that from there. This could be fun. 
Right, let's see how we get on with this then, shall we? This is pretty much where we're at so far. I have drilled the hole down there. I've managed to get the armoured across. I've tidied them up outside. So now, as you can see, it's a bit of a mess in here. So what I need to do is clip them along here. Well, not clip them, cable tie them along there to the fuse board there. And then we have a look into what knockouts I need to take out of the fuse board and start putting the glands on the armoureds. So that's going to be my next job. This could be a fun little adventure, trying to get all this lot tidy on the tray. Um, there's only one way to find out. Let's get to it. take a minute or two just to show you how these earthen nuts actually work so as you can see that is the earthen nut so when you do it up to the fuse board you just put a little bolt in there that comes with it um, and then you just put that up to the earth bar so you've got a continuous earth on the armoured sheafing so that get it in focus if I can this armoring goes into the gland this is the gla that's a gland goes into the gland <clears throat> and then it attaches to this and the way this works is see the little ridges of metal as you do you put it on like this and you do it up and then as you do it up that's what it does it takes the paint off so then those bits of metal, the copper at the bottom there, they are touching the metal there. That gives you a good earth connection all the way to the appliance or back to the mains or whatever it happens to be. I thought I'd show you that because I had to take this one out anyway. So I thought I'd show you how it works. Really quite simple, but really quite effective. Here we are, end of day one. So we've managed to get the board mounted. We've got all of the armoured on the tray, nice and neat, all made off into the board, as you can see. And we've got a little joint there, that's for the outside lights, because the client has been saying about he wants to potentially add other lights, maybe on the side of this shady type pull pump room thing. Um, so instead of doubling up inside the board, I've put a joint there, so he can just, or it'll be me coming back to add, but at least I know that's what that is um, to make it nice and easy. So then tomorrow we'll be putting some kind of lighting in here. Um, trouble is, if I turn this camera, <laughs> as you can see, there's no headroom at all. Uh, so what I'm thinking of doing is putting something potentially along this here so it's out of the way let's turn it. so then it's out of the way I could sit here uh, or maybe even right up there um, and still give you light in here and not be in anybody's way that's what I'm hoping and what else has got to go in here oh and some kind of socket I think he wants or was it an outside socket I can't remember now <clears throat> but anyway this is the end of day one and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning.